Okay, so there's a couple of things I'm going to show you how to do here. Um, I'm going to show you how to connect your synthesizer to your machine and how to use the synthesizer to manipulate um, the sounds that are in your software for the machine. Um, it's really, really simple. At least for me, uh, this one, it was just plug and play. It was already configured. But if it doesn't work out so great for you, I'll show you how to manually configure the settings. It should help you out a little bit. First of all, I'm going to show you how to connect it. Um, what I've done is I've connected on the machine um, the MIDI cables plugged into in. Okay, because the, seg the signal is going to be sent from here to here. And then what I've done is I have connected my Korg with the MIDI out so that it knows to communicate from here to here. Alright, so once you have it connected properly, what you'll do is you'll go here. We are going to load our software. Alright, so now that we've got machine loaded, what we're going to do, um, I've actually already got uh, sound loaded. Um, by now you should already know how to create a new group. Alright, we got a new group. And then what you do is you pick out a sound. I've already picked this one out, Dirty Step, Five Dirty Steps. It came already loaded with a, um, what's it called? With an effect. All right. So what you want to do is you want to go to File, Audio MIDI Settings. Make sure you're using the right sound card. We don't have an external sound card that we're using right now and check the MIDI settings. Inputs are on, outputs are on. And I'm not 100% sure if this has to be turned to off or on, but I've just got it but got it all turned on anyway, just to be on the safe side. Okay, and then you can go to your sound module and we're gonna take a look at the MIDI settings. So, let's see, for input, MIDI. Um, we've got all channels. That's just what's worked for me. Source, default. Everything was, like I said, already pretty much set up just fine for functionality. Alright, so this is really interesting. Like, apparently the sound that I picked just by chance, it like works perfectly with this external synthesizer. Alright, so check this out. Okay, so in order for you to be able to use this in like most of these synthesizers, they come with some sort of piano roll option. You have to have this lit up right here, piano roll, okay? And then whatever you push here, that's gonna, it's gonna run through the, the software. All right. And then um, just like with the regular settings on this, you can change, hit the button to change the sound. Here, let me turn it up so you can hear it. Okay. And then, of course, these knobs will work to change the sounds. But you can kind of hear that, right? Let me pick a better sound for you. So yeah, let me show you what is on my screen now. Okay, so let me explain myself. I've never tried to do this before, so it's all by chance that I just figured this all out. Just so happens I picked out the right sound with the right um, effect. Okay, so check this out. So this is the effect. It's like a perfect effect to work with this controller. So... Watch as I do different things. Watch this. Okay. When I change the sound, it changes here. See that? 
And oddly enough, most of these kind of match the, um, the sound bank on my synthesizer too. Which is pretty cool. Can you see the little knobs changing too on there as I do this? So apparently it was already automatically mini-mapped for this particular um, for this particular thing here. Another thing that's interesting too, if you want to do, if you want your, um, your hardware to all sync up, you can also say sync to an external MIDI clock. That's theoretically, that's what you're supposed to be able to do. And for example, on my Korg, if you need to set it to a different, um, channel for MIDI if you have multiple MIDI devices the default channel is one and um, you can change it by going into global mode I don't know where it is on here but I imagine that a lot of chords are the same way you just go into global mode you set your um, synthesizer to slave if you want it to follow along with your software and then you just configure your software um, correctly to control it and have everything sync up. Alright, so um, next I'm going to show you how to um, create samples and edit samples with your external hardware, you know, because you're not, you're not getting the sound bank. Because it's, it's impossible, like, MIDI is, it only sends, like, a, a certain type of signal like to control a VST, you can only control like the VST with the MIDI. Um, you can't send the sound bank through MIDI. So in other words, if you want to use the original sound bank on your hardware, you're going to have to have um, like an interface to do that with and you're going to have to record as samples. If that makes any sense. All right.